Hi, I am Chef Smith with Heaven's Healthy Kitchen. I am your personal chef. I am the people's chef, and I am the healthy chef. So, I am back to talk about heart health. Now, this will be part one. Did you guys know that a person dies from heart disease every 35 seconds? That's crazy. Heart disease is the number one killer in the world. Not just in the States. In the whole world. So it's a very important uh, topic that is not talked about a lot. Um, this month here is health, uh, health, is heart health awareness. And so, um, what a better time to speak, to speak on heart health. So, about 600,000 people die from heart disease, whether that be um, high blood pressure, heart attack, or stroke. So, I think everything starts with what are you putting into your mouth? And so, I'm going to give you guys a couple of um, things that, that you can eat that will help your heart. Give it strength. Protect it. So, here's what your heart needs. It needs potassium. 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 And magnesium. These two are extremely important. I'll speak on what foods contain mag magnesium and how to get more magnesium into your body. Uh, what are some other things that you can uh, take to increase the magnesium? Um, potassium protects the heart. It helps regulate your blood pressure in your heart. And so, potassium is extremely important. So, I'm going to give you guys a few um, foods that are high in potassium. Now, you might think bananas are the, they have the most potassium. They are high in potassium, but, they're, but they do not have the most potassium. Coconut water has more potassium than bananas. Okay, let me say that again. Coconut water, which the coconut obviously has more potassium than bananas. Okay, so avocados have, they are high in potassium too. Uh, of course, beans. And we heard this as children. Beans, beans are good for the heart. The more you eat them, the more you... What? You know. Put it in the comments. Uh, but that's true. Beans are extremely good for the heart. Um, and... Let's see. What else is good for... What other foods? Um, oh, Garlic garlic now of course raw garlic is kind of super spicy especially on the tongue and the, and the mouth but roasted garlic roast your roast your garlic put it in the oven 400 degrees and for about 30 35 35 minutes or until it gets soft Good to go. So here's how you prepare. Here's a free recipe. So you you take your garlic bulb, the whole thing. Um, you cut about one fourth to half an inch off the top. You try to get rid of most of the um, the skin, but if some is still on it, it's it's okay. Um, then you rub, I say, grape seed oil. You know, rub it on the top of that bulb. Um, you get, 
You can use other oils, but I just prefer grapeseed oil. They say olive oil, but the problem with olive oil is that if you heat it over about 300 degrees, it, it can turn into a carcinogen. So this is why I kind of stay away from olive oil and olive oil kind of has a taste. They don't taste all that great uh, raw or cooked, to be honest, my preference. Um, but that's how you pre prepare um, roasted garlic in, in the oven. Another one that I pretty much put on my food every time I eat, not everything, but most things, is cayenne pepper. Caps capsion is extremely healthy for your heart. It, it can even prevent a heart attack. Now, it's not your average Joe cayenne pepper that's in the store, no. 90,000 units. That's the heat index of the cayenne pepper. You can't just go in the store and get 90,000 unit heat index cayenne pepper. You have to oftentimes order it online or go to your local health food store. And so uh, that's all I got for right now. I kind of went way over the time. But I think heart health is extremely important, and I will be back for part two. Be blessed. Oh, and do not forget, we only have one, one life, one body, and we must take care of it if we want to get to the life to come. Be blessed.